Going to the exam question walkthrough for A level chemistry. So, this is condensation polymers number seven. If you want to check out the other videos in the playlist, I'll put the link to that at the top of the screen now. So, the question covers calculating the MR of a condensation polymer and then drawing addition and condensation polymer repeat units. Hope you like the video, hope you find it helpful, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd love you to do so. But as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. So part A, we've got to work out the MR of the polymer. It's made from 500 molecules of this alpha amino acid. So the first thing we're going to do, obviously, is work out the MR of the amino acid. So that's coming out at 165. So remember, the R group is 91. The rest of the alpha amino acid is this bit I've highlighted in green, 74. So that's where that 165 comes from. Next thing we'll do is multiply that by 500, which gives us 82,500. Now the tricky bit kicks in. So when the amino acid joins together, we have a condensation reaction. So we lose an H2O molecule to join them together. So we're going to lose the OH from the carboxyl group on one side and the H from the amino group on the other side. But the thing to appreciate is that won't happen at the very end of the chain. So yes, it's made from 500 monomers, but we're going to have to remove 499 lots of 18 for the H2O that's lost. So that means the MR of the polymer is 73,518. So very well done if you got that right. I think that's tricky. Moving on to part B, so we've got this amino acid told it can form addition and condensation polymers. So obviously it can form an addition polymer because of the carbon-carbon double bond. So I'm just going to use the trick my teacher gave us when I did my A-level. Make your monomer look like an ethene molecule. Well it kind of does already, I'm just going to sort of reconfigure this part. So I've not changed it much but kind of it's easy to manage now. So all I'm going to do is break open the pi bond of the double bond and put two of these together. So that's what the two repeat units look like. So just don't forget to include these continuation bonds at the ends. And then moving on to the condensation polymer, we've got an NH2 group and a carboxyl group. So we can kind of take out water and join them together, but it hasn't been drawn in a very friendly way. So again, I'm just going to reconfigure it to make it easier. So something like that's much easier to work with because all we need to do now is take out hydrogen from the amino group and OH from the carboxyl group. Obviously, there's your water coming out. So we join the two bits together, which means that the two repeat units are going to look like that. 